What is going on everybody? DJ Minds here. So look, today we're talking about Vast AI. I put my 4090 on it. The results have been actually very impressive and I'm very happy with it. I want to talk about it though. Like, am I going to switch over everything into Vast AI? The short answer is no. You know, is this going to be a long-term thing? We're going to talk about all that stuff. Let's firstly talk about the money because that's what everybody cares about. Money, money, money. So if I had this 4090 on say a lithium, which according to this hash rate.no would be about $2.42, but because of my electric rate of 15, cents that put me at a dollar and 12 cents profit so you know it's not a lot of money if we were to look at i don't know 10 cents for some of you guys it changes it uh you know a dollar 55 profit or 242 if you had like free power or something so obviously i am not in that situation and a dollar or two really isn't that impressive i'll be honest with you guys so that doesn't really get me too excited but really why i want to do this everybody's been talking about vast ai for quite some time i've kind of pushed it off i'm like eh, it didn't sound like it was that impressive but really it's because i didn't want to invest a bunch of money and i actually didn't invest a bunch of money specifically for vast ai i actually used things that i just had laying around the house i know i had a random i9 12 900k just laying around the reason i got that though is because of black friday my boy rondy shout out to my boy rondy went to the micro center picked up a huge bundle for me it had ddr5 uh, ram it had the i9 12 900k and it had a z970 motherboard so i had this stuff anyways and i I already got the 4090, you know, and I had that mining, but I was like, dude, wait a minute. I thought I needed this huge Epic board and all this other stuff to get rented. And I was talking to like King and Max and all of them. They're like, dude, it's a 4090. That's what really matters. Everything else is like, eh, you know, you can get away with it. So yes, I'm actually getting rented pretty much all the time, which I'm very happy about. I'm surprised. Again, I thought I was going to have to get, you know, like a 4080, 4090, and then also spend thousands of dollars on all this other stuff. But really I just used stuff that I had anyway. And I have a feeling, cause I've been looking at things that are getting rented you don't need to spend crazy amount of money it's mostly about the gpu other things do help don't get me wrong right you can certainly ask for like a premium and, and we'll get into how much i'm renting and all that stuff so let me just show you here it's been about a day and a half but honestly it's probably more like a day i'd say a little bit over 24 hours simply because you know i had to figure things out i've been having issues with port forwarding we'll talk about all that but so far i've made eight dollars and 43 cents so i'm super super impressed with this number again you know a little bit over a day the total would be about eleven dollars and 23 cents and their service fee is two dollars and 80 cents now again i would not be able to get these numbers by mining there's just no way there's no way i would have made close to this amount of money and you know one thing that i've not been a fan of is getting paid in usd but recently i am a fan of getting paid in usd we'll talk about that in just a minute and here's my actual rig getting rented you'll know you're getting rented when you see like this orange and purple stuff at the bottom it says i have 100 ports open i do have 100 ports open on the actual machine but my router, man, I'm having some major issues with. Hopefully we don't get penalized or banned eventually. I'm still trying to work that. I probably have to get a new router. Not why you're here. But the most important thing you can see, man, I don't have the best of the best stuff. It's decent stuff though, right? It's Intel. And what's funny is usually uh, these people aren't even using a lot of watts, man. Sometimes when I'm getting rented, they're just using the CPU. So they're paying me or really overpaying me to CPU mine. My reliability score is 92.1%. I started off at 50. I think most of you will probably start around there and we're just wanting to get rented i put it at 32 cents which isn't the most but at the same time right i really want to get verified i want to get my score up and then eventually i can add a lot more i did get rented at one time for 35 cents but i dropped it down just a little bit because they only rented me for like an hour so let's again you know do some math here just kind of what you can expect for like a 4090 or something you know you could do 32 cents times 24 it's about seven dollars 68 cents minus their fee so you can kind of do the math there and i've pretty much been rented the entire time i don't think it's because you know this z790 who cares about that the 32 gigs of ram who cares about that the i9 somebody cares about it i don't know why they're not just mining with the ryzen but people care and people are actually renting me and again you know 32 cents right now my plan get verified you know just get rented just get my feet wet and then you could certainly expect that seven eight dollars a day to go up maybe i'll get up to nine dollars or ten dollars you know and i've been talking to hawk and all those guys and they're saying it really depends on the day sometimes the demand is really high and sometimes it's not as high. So you could certainly expect this to go up. And I think over time, once I've proven myself and get verified, hopefully we get verified. I don't see why we wouldn't get verified because we're constantly rented and we are a reliable source. Eventually, you know, be able to charge 50 cents or something. And then our earnings will go up like 30 something percent. But the real reason I'm excited about Vast AI is because I'm treating it like I am these D pin projects. If you guys have been watching my channel, Demo has been insane. I've been 10Xing on both of my machines. Hive Mapper, you know, I got my GeoNet 
going. I got all these deep end projects, which are actually funding my uh, mining, my crypto mining, my ASICs, my GPUs, because that's my main goal, right? My main focus is GPUs, ASIC mining, these kind of things. But I don't want to sell the coin, right? I, and my electric bill has been like $2,000. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's really rough. You know, you know, you guys know how it is. You're watching this channel. You're paying for your house. You're paying off rent or whatever you're doing. Plus, you're paying off all this mining. And, uh, you know, you're seeing your bank account dwindle down and down more and more. And I don't want to sell any coin, man. It hurts every time having to sell even my deep end projects to cover, you know, the ASIC hosting or, or even the stuff I'm running in my house. So this is really appealing for me on a small scale. I'm like, okay, cool. This 4090 here, I can actually use to pay off maybe some of the ASICs or something because it's going to go straight to my card, right? So on a large scale, do I want a bunch of USD? I really don't. But on a smaller scale, I do because I need that extra money to supplement my electric bill to fund the bigger, you know, the bigger goal for me of crypto mining, of ASIC mining, of GPUs, right? These, are, This is the future for me, 2025. But along the way, like I, I kind of am at that point now where I'm like, dang, dude, I'm out of money. So I have two options right now. Either one, I can go back to month on, month off, which I really don't like doing, especially before the bull run. We're really close to the bull run. We're about 100 days or less, maybe 90 days at the making of this video towards the Bitcoin having. So I know what's right around the corner, man. And I just want to keep grinding and grinding. And this is one way that I think we'll be able to get there. Now, some people are making anywhere from 150 to 200 bucks a month. And I'm like, dude, that could really help me. I, I could use 150, 200 bucks a month. And I've heard sometimes they'll make 100 bucks a week, right? So I've only really tried to sell the demo stuff when it appreciates like 50%. And, but the problem is I live in the state of New York. And in New York, I unfortunately can't take that money on crypto.com, Coinbase or anything and transfer it to my bank account. It's driving me nuts. So you can see why something like this is kind of appealing where I'm like, okay, this isn't like a permanent fix, but I really like doing it because it goes straight to my card and then I can pay off the hosting guys. And so they can leave me the hell alone. Not that I'm ever late or anything, but that's really my goal for this is just simply to fund the rest of the thing. Don't be so focused on one thing. Like I'm only a GPU miner. I'm only an ASIC miner. It's, it's kind of silly because if you really be smart, right? Step outside the box, you can fund everything you have going on with your farm with things like this, supplementing things like this. Yes, it's USD and that's okay, right? Because you need USD or, or something to, uh, you need some kind of method to pay off of your equipment. So yeah, for me, it's been really good and I'm happy I finally did it. Now, as far as installation, some of you are probably wondering, is it very difficult to do? It really wasn't that bad. I pretty much did 99% of it on my own. Well, I shouldn't say technically it wasn't on my own. What I used was the Mining King. Shout out to my friend, the Mining King's guide. He does have a guide for five bucks. I think you just have to become a member of his channel. That's pretty much it. And then he'll send you the file. It, it's a very, very useful tip, man. Because if you look on like YouTube and try to do it on your own, you can do it, but it's such a headache, bro. Just pay the five bucks in my opinion. And just pay Mining King for his time because he has like everything you need in detail. You just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. You putty into your equipment and it was so easy. There's a couple things here and there were a little bit confusing. Well, I had to ask him or a friend of mine that was like maybe like USB. Um, You need to put a USB or put all the files on a USB and then transfer over just little baby things. But I think in total to install this, it probably took me about an hour. But where I'm really happy and satisfied with is now I have a rig for flux proof of useful work if and when that ever finally comes out. I would assume it's actually very easy for me to just use this exact same rig, right? Maybe just pop out the M.2, replace it with a different one or some kind of USB or different, whatever, you know, hard drive or something. And then we can instantly have a rig up just in case flux proof of useful work comes out. I'd love to do videos on that kind of stuff. And, you know, and switch between mining and AI and all this other interesting stuff for the channel moving forward. So I'm really happy about it. It got me off my tail to finally use this equipment that I had laying around anyways. And overall, again, am I going to continue to make vast AI rigs? I don't think I will and unless I had like another 4090. But again, money is really, really tight. Maybe this will end up helping me buy another 4090. I don't know. Now, of course, right with crypto, you, the things do appreciate, right? And that's like the benefit for sure, right? You buy a bunch of Alephium or you, you, you mine a bunch of whatever, Nur AI or something. And that thing 10X is like a lot of mine have. You make significantly more money than vast AI, but it's good to diversify right? And I think Max or some other people would probably argue, well, you could just buy it with that. Yeah, you could, but like who really does that, right? Like there's a lot of people who just simply don't buy the coin. So I get it, right? Especially from like the miner side. Now that it's set up though, man, it has been freaking amazing. I'm really glad I did it. And let me know if you guys have tried out Vast AI. I think I'll leave a link for something for Vast AI related just so you don't go to like the wrong website or something. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this. And I have to say, I'm pretty happy with it. Peace out and have a good one.